Okay, everybody. Thanks for being patient on the second part of this video. The river is really high, so it's hard to get here. What we're looking at here is those black cliffs in the background. Those black cliffs in the background right there, those are uh, where the Spanish monument was that pointed us directly in this line right here. And in the foreground, as you can see, we have this huge tailing pile. And if we follow the tailing pile around, we follow it up here. Here we can see washout on the creek. You can see where they were transporting the waste rock right there. And as we come around, here's the mine itself, shown previously in a short, very straight into the mountain mine, right at the base of it, as you can see. And it goes straight in, and here they were finding galena, which is a mix of lead and silver in sandstone. It's gated off by the county for safety. As you can see, quite old, no supports in the sandstone whatsoever. As we look back in there. And as we come around and back out of it, down on the right side here, they were putting the waste rock as we saw on the left side here is where the good stuff went and they were taking the sandstone galena mixture of lead and silver and they were smelting it here in this primary smelting house here quite old right there in the pit Now all this is in line exactly with the monument we've been talking about, the Spanish monument that pointed us here. But there's more that it actually shows us. There's petroglyphs up over these hills here, right in line with what was pointed out with the mine and the smelter house. There's petroglyphs right on the other side of these glyphs. And I'm gonna show you that in the next part. And the petroglyphs aren't just Native American in nature. They are also Spanish trail petroglyphs that we're gonna look at, such as a teed off cross. And little men that they used to carve in that represented mileage or how much distance a place was to get to. As you can see, here's where they were dumping the waste rock. An incredible amount of work, considering not a lot of machinery, but donkeys. As we continue our series, we're gonna to go to the ultimate destination of where the Spanish monument pointed us out to a certain ravine with a lot of holes in it. Join us for more here on Ghost Town channel. My name's Andrew and this is some of the stuff that I do. I just love it. Hope you do too. Have a good one.